welcome back to Homeschooling HQ. Thanks for subscribing to all our social media. Today, we're gonna to make a bug hotel. Right, so for this, you're gonna need a bottle, like a plastic bottle. I've cut mine in half. And you're gonna need sticks and leaves. Now, I've been out into the garden and collected all these. You can do this from the park if you want. But they need to be cut into little bits like that. Right, so I've got lots of different sticks in there. I've got some bamboo bits, bits of hedgerow, bit of tree branches that I've got, and some leaves. All I'm gonna try and do is build up a layer of sticks in here. And as I do this, I'll explain why. Now, mini beasts that are gonna live in here, these are invertebrates. Now invertebrates are those little animals or animals without backbones. So you're looking at like spiders and snails and worms and things like that. Okay, as you can see I'm getting my Lay it on there. Now, there are over 25,000 different types of those invertebrates in the UK, and we're going to try and give them somewhere to live. Now, you can find them anywhere, you could find them in the soil, in the grass, in the plants, absolutely anywhere around your garden. You might even find them in your own house. Okay, here we go. And the reason I've used these bamboos is they've got lovely little holes that these insects can go and live in. Some of their traits, like snails, have their shells on the back. And some invertebrates have exoskeletons. They look like beetles and they're like a skeleton on the back or a hard shell around them. So I've tried to build up a layer of sticks, then put some leaves in, and then put another layer of sticks on. And that's gonna give lots and lots of places for all those little mini beasts to go and hide. And then for the next couple of, day, a couple of days, once it's all in the garden, I can go out and explore to see what, what, what's living there. So I've obviously got another end of the bottle there. I can make that uh, into another book hotel and then go and set them up in my garden and we can see what insects we will, that will live in there. Guys, I hope you have great fun making your book hotel. Don't forget to post a picture of it on our social media, and we'll see you next time on Homeschooling HQ. Bye for now.